I'm Rhonda <coughs> Bonham, Managing Partner at WSP Solicitors, and uh, this is our third year of sponsoring Art in the City, which is part of the SOMAC uh, Festival in 2018. We're really um, pleased to be involved again and delighted um, to have been asked by uh, Jason and really took no persuading at all because we think it's just such a fantastic um, event for the city but also um, to attract people to come and see what's going on. Yeah. We're really honoured to be um, a part of it because it gives them uh, an opportunity lovely. really for people to um, see what's happening in the city. There's so much work going on behind closed doors to um, develop, um, innovate and, and bring business and people to, you know, to our area. We're fans of the city, we love living and working here and, and it's really important to us. Morning, Jack. Hi. Hi. So how do you feel about being involved with uh, Art in the City? Oh, I'm really excited. It's, it's, it's nice to be asked to do it, um, first and foremost. So it's a pleasure. But I'm just excited about, hopefully, uh, seeing lots and lots of other artists painting. That would be great. And it's just really just to get Gloucester City more involved with art. And um, I find it all, it's all an adventure for me anyway. So I'll be having fun, whatever happens. Um, and we'll be having an exhibition in St Michael's Tower, so I'll be bringing some of my own pictures along. And hopefully a lot of people have come down and just, they don't have to paint, they can come and have a look and see all the other artists on view. And, um, but if, if a lot of people come down and paint, especially youngsters, that's going to be exciting for me. How do you feel about having your own portrait painted today? It's very surreal and weird having my own portrait done. Um, people have painted me before, but I've, I think this is the first time I've ever had to sit for anyone. Um, but I'm enjoying it because Russell, we, we sort of hit it off and he asked me if he could do it and I said no, but I'd be delighted. So um, it's great and he's doing a great job with it. So I'm looking forward to seeing the, uh, the end result, but it's, uh, it's a new experience for me. And you said you were celebrating 30 years as a professional painter. I know, I can't believe it. I started in 1988. Uh, my first exhibition sold out in a couple of days and um, I've just, it's just been snowballing ever since. So 30 years has gone really quick, so I must have been enjoying myself and and just exploring being a painter really and um, having a great time so uh, hopefully another 30 years of painting will be great as well so but it's 30 years I can't believe it um, so there'll be a few things happening this year but uh, just keep painting love it Fantastic. well thanks very much and Pleasure. we'll see you in the summer love looking forward to it so how's, how's it been painting um, Jack today it's been fantastic um, yeah it's uh, it's slightly intimidating but um, He's been very kind, so <laughs> it's been really good, yeah. And it's, um, it's, it's unusual for me to have somebody, I do most of my painting really early in the morning, um, or late at night. So um, I find it difficult to get people to sit as well because people are busy and, um, you know, so to, especially to have Jack here for, for a couple of hours is amazing. So you're looking forward to this summer, this, this year? In, uh, yes. Yeah, it should be the, you know, I'm hoping it's going to be the biggest one yet. Um, we're really trying to get as many artists as we can uh, all across the city, um, turn Gloucester into one big art gallery, hopefully. And art room, you know, so with there's stuff for, for people to do, kids to do, take part in the competition, workshops, all sorts of things, and go around and see lots of different exhibitions as well.